the Mark II is more than just a communications terminal. It's got a lot of other functions as well. Try taking it for a spin. See for yourself what it can do. solid eye to night vision mode.
incredible combat. What? Anybody there? What's going on?
Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> oh, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. <laughs> Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. <laughs> Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered? <laughs> you see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you? All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? You need a guy like me. Consider it a welcome gift. Take it. The M4. The official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government-issue shit. It's, uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give her a squeeze. Hmm. Trigger. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they even register. Have a sip. Mm -mm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green, neither. You've got last-gen nanomachines, so I'm guessing, former U.S. Army, <laughs> I don't know what you're here for, but you want to be well-equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off, anyway? 
You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. So, we ready to make a deal or what? Okay then, let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for services. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nanomachines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nanomachines. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? You can use non-ID guns, no problem. Hey, be nice to our guest. Step outside. Boom. now on, when you pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. <clears throat> Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profits, if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. And the fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green collars. 
More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then. If you need me, holla. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drebin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price, one that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through.
careful, Snake. The walls could come down any second. Who's there? Go, go away! I'm not done yet!